welcome guys to prime card tutorial on today's video we are going to learn how to model a 3d structural steel stanchion which is being used for both beams and columns for structural purposes please remember to like share and subscribe to prime card tutorial so right on the screen there are the three major things we'll be doing we'll select the tool palette from our drawing window then we switch your drawing window to asymmetry view and the major tool we'll be using here today is going to be the press pool to create the 3d solid structural steel um, stanchion and we are going to do this with the use of autocad drawing window So guys, let's get started. So that is it. First on your drawing uh, window, just type in tool palette at the bottom bar of your drawing menu. It pops up automatically, then you click on it. Then when it comes on the right side of your screen, select either the impera or the metric or the impera or the metric uh, structural extension so in this method you don't need to start drawing it manually it's already there on the drawing template in the autocad uh, window so right there it just comes straight once you click on it that is it on the screen that is our that is a 2d inbuilt 2d um, drawing, plan drawing of our structural extension the next step for us here now is to rotate our drawing window to the southeast or southwest isometric view. Having, when we do that, um, then the next thing we need to do, uh, we'll go to the press pull button. You select the press pull, then you highlight on the object. Yeah, that is it, right? As it's been shown on the screen, then, then you select the distance. For me, I'm going to use a default of 700 millimeters for my distance. So you can also choose a specific one you fly to use it. Then uh, you right there have to get the shaded portion of our 3D shape, which is out already on the screen right there. So have we done this step? That is our 3D station, which we've just produced here seamlessly without any stress. So we've done that. Um, the next uh, step we'll be going to. Uh, um, the next step we need to do here is that we need to create a rectangular base. For me, we need like 500 by 500 mm rectangular base for our structural steel station. Then when you do that, um, you try to create it to be in block form. And see that in that process is really not going to give us what we need so select the object press the on your drawing window then the block menu pops up just give it a name just name minus one that is done so having in that way i can easily press pull it so a height of maybe between 20 mm thickness for the base plate this is actually going to give us like having a base plate for our structural distortion so that is done. Take it back to the wireframe. Now we are back to our wireframe drawing drawing session. Then what we need to do here before you move this thing start jump to where the uh, base plate is, try to introduce a reference line. Because at this point you may find it difficult to get the center point of your steel station. So introduce the reference line to cut across the session. Maybe session the session view, or session plan of your station you do that and you also going to remember we're going to do same for also the base plate also and you're going to be not at the bottom side of the base plate but at the top side of the base plate so please remember if you are watching this lecture try to remember hit the red subscribe button and also tap the bell notification icon for more videos so we've done that then uh, the next thing to do, uh, you see that right now we cannot put it there because we are not trying to get a good reference out. So you just pull it aside as I said earlier. 
then introduce you can actually introduce a line across okay that's fine so then this point you we are going to move our this tension now get a center point from there then move it to the center point of our base plate that is it so in that case you just clean up the unwanted lines out of it so having done that if you want you can actually decide to move the plan base to the way the 3d object is so that is a so next you take it back to the solid form now we have our complete 3d view of our base plate so this is the 3d view for our structural steel stanchion sitting on the steel base plate of 20 millimeter thickness so that is it it is just as simple as that so you try to go through this as a tutorial lecture for you and it will help you to actually improve your 3d skills for structural elements now as well so guys try as much as possible remember to subscribe to our youtube channel prime cards tutorial and also share our videos on different social media platforms and also like our video as well and also put your comments on in any area in which you may need clarity of what we do here so thank you for your time and in our next video we will be teaching you on how to make a steel stanchion stay tuned